guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, so let's start off with Nicki Minaj because she is getting the 2022 Vanguard Award at the VMAs. Congratulations to Nicki Minaj. I actually think she was supposed to get it last year, but because of, you know, all the court cases and situations with Kenny, I think that they pushed it back, you know, and she talked about um, how she had allegedly C-19, but this is definitely well-deserved. I mean, Nicki Minaj has been having an amazing year, so it wouldn't make sense for anybody else to get it. As for her getting the award, only three people should be giving her the award. I feel like it should only be Wayne, Birdman, or Drake. Okay, anybody else, it wouldn't make any sense. Um, so I feel like Wayne, he should be giving her the award at the VMAs, but Wayne is high 75% of the time. You know, he may not even remember what award show he's at. He might be thinking he's at the EVT Awards. So I think it would only make logical sense for Birdman and maybe Drake to give her the award. Anybody else doesn't make any sense. Um as for Super Freaky Girl, um, Nicki Minaj will be competing with the Queen Bee for the top spot on Billboard um, within the next two weeks because the Queen Bee is supposed to be number one for Break Your Soul. I haven't checked the charts, but I believe she was challenging for being at number one um, going up against Lizzo. And then, you know, the following week, she still could be at number one because she just dropped the remix. Um, a lot of fans have been talking about how they want to get Nicki Minaj her first solo number one on Billboard. So she will be having some competition. The Queen Bee does well on the charts. Now, in my opinion, I don't really feel like Break Your Soul um, is that great of a song. I feel like if anything deserves to go number one in regards to Beyonce, it should be Alien Superstar. Okay, I feel like that's the strongest song on Renaissance. Um, but I think it's supposed to be top 20, top 10. So let me know if you guys feel like Nicki Minaj could beat out Beyonce for the number one spot on Billboard, because a lot of fans on social media are saying how they want Nicki Minaj to get her first solo number one, and they want her to go number one on Billboard. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Speaking of the Queen Bee, because Beyonce has acknowledged Lizzo on the Break Your Soul remix, fans want Lizzo and the Queen Bee to collaborate. Let me know if you guys would be here for that collaboration. Um, I actually could not really picture them collaborating. I don't know why. Um, I feel like they have two different styles when it comes to music. Um, but I'm sure that Beyonce can hop on anything. I just can't really picture it. Like, I can't even picture them performing together. I feel like they're kind of two different, um, artists. Lizzo, um, she's more of like a really poppy artist. Beyonce is more R&B pop. But I will say this, Lizzo is a phenomenal performer, okay? And, you know, she's a big girl, but she performs better than Sweetie. She can put on a show. So I understand why, you know, certain publications were comparing her to um, Beyonce. But at the end of the day, in my opinion, um, she's still not on the same level as Beyonce. But let me know if you guys would be here for a collaboration. Moving on to Cardi B. So it looks like Cardi B is top 10 in regards to first week streaming sales. So this is not, you know, people actually purchasing the album. But when it comes to streaming the album, she's top 10. Thank You Next was number one at 307 million first week. Taylor Swift was number two. Sour by Olivia Rodrigo was at number three at 301. Um, Taylor Swift was number four again with 290 million. She's number five again at 226. Um, then she's number six at 221. I mean, Taylor Swift is taking over the charts. But then here comes um, Invasion of Privacy at 202 first week. Um, and then Summer Walker was at um, 201 for Still Over It. The 30 album was at 185 first week. And then there's Renaissance by Beyonce. And the Cardi B fans are bringing this up because they're trying to say that Beyonce 
did less than Cardi B in streaming um, first week. Okay, so um, they're trying to say um, Cardi B has the most first week streaming sales as a female rapper. So let me know how you guys feel about that. I think that Cardi B fans are still upset that Beyonce um, did not shout out Cardi B in the Break Your Soul remix. So now they're trying to say her numbers are not that great. But what people fail to realize is she still did 190K first week in pure sales, okay? Um, Cardi B's not doing that. She's not doing 190 first week for pure sales. She may do well in streaming, but do people actually buy her songs? Because it doesn't show that. No shade, okay? I'm just going by the charts that they made. Moving on to Megan The Stallion. She is teasing new music. Um, she posted on her story, I really got some of the baddest women on my album and the girls turned their verses in fast. Yes, pens. So she's saying that the people that are on her album, you know, they wrote their verses. I feel like she's trying to elude that Cardi B wrote her verse for their second collaboration that they got in the stash. Um, but in my opinion, I feel like instead of Megan making Instagram posts, she might just want to drop the album because I'm not really excited for Flopazine. I mean, uh, Traumazine. Um, it's not really giving. Um, none of the singles to me, except for maybe like Plan B, were that great. Um, even Plan B was kind of okay. But let me know if you guys are excited for Megan Thee Stallion's album. Moving on to Scratch Off, a.k.a. Lottery Ticket, a.k.a. Lotto. So it looks like she is the top contender for the 2023 Grammys for Best New Artist. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Now, me personally, I feel like if Sweetie could get nominated, anybody can. I mean, she was nominated for Best New Artist, and to me, she was the worst new artist. On top of that, um, Lotto and Sweetie are technically not new artists. Sweetie been out since 2016, and I think Lotto first came out, what, in 2018, um, she's been in the game for a couple years now. She's technically not a new artist, but she just started getting a buzz. Um, and she got a top five song last year or this year with big energy. So that's why she's getting nominated. Um, do I feel like it's well-deserved? Not for one hit, okay? Um, I feel like you got to have multiple hits under your belt for you to get best new artists, OK, um, the fact that Lotto is top contender for best new artist, um, that just means that, you know, the standards are low. OK, because to me, I don't understand how Lotto could be top contender. I know she has the most noise, but I feel like if we're going based on talent, I don't think she deserves to be top contender. I feel like it should be like Dolce or Flo Millie. But they don't have a bigger buzz than Lotto right now. Even though most of her singles flop, she's still getting a lot of radio play. And they are not. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And have an amazing day.